Now, now, we're now we return. Part three. So Part the three bug of physics. Is not physics. very dense. It doesn't have a lot of surface area on a bug. It kind of does because of all the little shapes and crevices and stuff. If you actually measure it, it's that bad boy? surface area relative to its size. It has quite a bit of surface area. And he will orient, orient himself when he falls to his advantage. So with all those clues, what do you think, Ellie Martin? Will he reach terminal velocity early or late? He will, because he has all of these things that have a large effect on him. That means he will reach it early. So say he reaches terminal velocity right there. He won't have to go through a velocity of that's that large or that large. He will reach terminal velocity quickly because of his shape, his density, his orientation. So therefore, when he goes to the Earth, he will not travel quickly. He will go slowly. This is someone who's traveling quickly. So he has reached terminal velocity. It's a constant velocity. And he will reach the Earth and be fine. So God has designed the bug to to survive free fall. Has he, has he designed you? Definitely not. Definitely not. Right. We can fall off of something this high and get hurt. We can I mean, come off a curb. I mean, we can jump off the side of the earth, but you need a parachute. Yeah. If you don't, you're in trouble. Off, off anything, yeah, yeah, like the guy who did it. Like, you can just stand at the top of the earth. Yeah, yeah, he was like on, like, on the edge of earth. Yeah. Yeah. There's no edge on earth. Exactly. It's like, you can turn off the video. Damn. We're done. All right, we're done. Oh!